Do you sometimes have low self-esteem, feel depressed, or have anxiety? Or can't seem to sleep well and have unexplained mood swings? We've all heard that fitness helps with these issues, but how? Why does physical fitness help us emotionally and psychologically? When most people hear the word fitness, their mind immediately thinks of crazy diet plans that involve them canceling out pizza and ice cream, and workout sessions with a trainer yelling out commands like they're preparing to go to war the next day. The thought of that makes them shudder. Fitness is basically a person's overall well-being. It is being in good physical shape, which allows your body to perform specific tasks. You can also become physically fit by eating an adequate diet, doing minimal exercise like taking walks, stretching before going to bed, and even doing yoga helps. The question now is, what does mental health have to do with being fit? A lot. A person's physique totally helps their mental health. Besides feeling depressed because you're obese or having low self-esteem because of the shape of your body and looks, keeping fit actually helps you stay in the right state of mind. Everyone knows that exercising regularly is good for your health, but not everyone knows that it can also boost your mood, improve your sleep pattern, and more. It is proven that regular exercise helps deal with depression, stress, anxiety, and a whole lot relating to one's mental state. When we say regular exercise, no, don't think of gyms. It's common knowledge that a whole lot of people are actually afraid of going to the gym because of how painful and stressful working out of the gym seems to be. You can exercise by doing something you love and enjoy, like riding bicycles, taking walks in the park, or at the beach, swimming, and even dancing. So let's see how keeping yourself fit and how regular exercise helps mental health. According to a recent study done by the Harvard T.H. Chan School of Public Health, it was found that running for 15 minutes a day or walking for an hour reduces the risk of major depression by 26%. Besides acting as an antidepressant, regular exercise can also prevent a relapse. This shows that exercise can do so much to help people suffering from depression. Drugs and medication might not be necessary if a regular exercise routine is maintained. Exercise acts as an antidepressant by promoting changes in the brain. This includes neural growth, decreased inflammation, and new activity routines that encourage calmness and overall well-being. The endorphins released during exercise also help boost one's mood and put you in a calm and relaxing state. Another major thing to know is that taking those walks or dancing actually takes your mind off all the worries for that moment, and that is very vital for a person who is depressed. People who have constant anxiety tend to take medication prescribed by doctors, and after a short while, they develop major panic attacks if their pills are not nearby. Taking drugs actually comes with side effects, but anxiety can also be controlled by exercising that has no side effects, other than you getting in shape. The mind and body are connected. If the mind is under major stress, the body reacts, and that's when you develop headaches, muscle cramps, or the likes. So to relieve your body of the pain, your mind has to be in a healthy state and exercising can help with that. The endorphins released during exercise help relieve the tension that comes with anxiety and stress. Even taking note of everything in your surroundings or your body while exercising goes a long way in relieving yourself. Listen to your heartbeat or monitoring the rhythm of your feet as you run are examples of what to do. Exercise not only helps people who are depressed, anxious, or stressed, but it also goes a long way in helping people who have ADHD, attention deficit health disorder, or PTSD, post-traumatic stress disorder. One thing that's common with people suffering from these mental conditions is the fact that their mind wanders a lot. Being idle and not constantly occupied is not advised for people with these conditions. They need activity that will keep them mentally active, and that's how exercise helps. When they exercise constantly, they would have something to look forward to each day. The chemicals released by the brain, dopamine, serotonin, and the likes during this exercise will also help them focus and increase their attention span. What if you don't have any of these mental conditions? The truth is, everyone must be in a good mental state to live a healthy life. Little things such as not being able to sleep regularly or having enough strength to carry out physical activities affect mental health. So one has to do the bare minimum required to stay healthy. Eating adequate meals and having a regular exercise routine can help you feel better about yourself. You'll feel better about your appearance, which in turn boosts your self-confidence and esteem. The healthy habits you develop would make you feel proud of yourself. You would know that you're capable of setting goals and achieving them. Besides all that's been mentioned, you would be able to sleep properly, have more energy to carry out physical activities, and help boost your immune system and general body resilience. The main challenge that most people face is maintaining a routine. The reason why it's so hard is that they set the bar really high. For example, a person who enjoys sweet dishes decides to cancel out all carbs immediately and start living on just vegetables or protein shakes. For their exercise routine, they decide to do 100 push-ups, 50 jumping jacks, and 50 squats each day. The person tends to relapse because it's not sustainable to let go of all the things you enjoy and go through so much pain all at once. How about you start slow? Consume sweet foods, but in minute quantities. We already mentioned that doing activities you enjoy, like walking, dancing, and swimming regularly, is enough to make a difference. If you decide that you want a proper workout schedule, check out other videos for tips on how to create a routine that you would be able to keep up with. It's not about doing everything all at once. 
It's more about doing it consistently. If you want to get active, but you're not sure where to start, watch this video next.